gonna make you a world with these two hands today Put our love, memories and laughs in all that I create Surface type is hand lettering on a surface other than standard paper. Once you start thinking outside of those boundaries, you'll start noticing all sorts of possibilities. Surface type is a great way to create unique artwork and home decor. The most important thing to consider is the type of pen or marker you'll be using. I like to use Pen Touch, made by Sakura. These paint-like pens write on plastic, wood, paper, and cloth. It writes nicely on both textured and glossy surfaces, and comes in a variety of nib sizes and colors. Just remember, this ink is not intended to be used on surfaces you would wash. Old documents like maps make a great canvas for lettering. This one is from a 1941 National Geographic that I picked up at a flea market. If the document has severe creases, you can minimize these by covering with a cloth and ironing on medium heat without steam. The creases may still be visible, but the surface will be smoother for lettering. Now I'm doing a rough pencil sketch of my design. If you'd like to learn more about how to come up with a hand letter design, check out my video Hand Lettering Step by Step. Use the pencil to lightly sketch out your design on the document. I like to use a Sumo Grip Mechanical Pencil for this because the eraser is very good at removing lines while being gentle on paper. You may find it's easiest to center your lettering when you start by drawing the letter in the middle. I'm using a black pen touch marker on the map. Shake the pen and depress the nib to get the ink flowing. Trace the outline of the letters, then fill in. The nice thing about this ink is that it's very opaque and covers the pencil and background completely. If your document is glossy, it will work on that as well. I'm adding a few flourish accents to balance out my letters. If you're looking for additional ideas, check out my video on hand lettering accents. I like the way this turned out, but I want to see what else I can add letters to. I bought this decorative skull for 50 cents at a thrift shop and thought it would be a cool surface to letter on. But first, I want to give him a bit of a makeover. I'm decoupaging the skull with a vintage sewing pattern by dipping the pattern pieces in Mod Podge and smoothing them under the skull. Allow to dry completely. Make a pencil sketch of your design, then add it to your surface. This time I'm using a silver metallic pen touch marker, which shows up well on darker surfaces and really catches the light. You can find old records at almost every yard sale or thrift shop. If they're scratched, they're only a few cents and they're great for lettering. I like to look online for quotes by the artist, then letter those with a white pen touch marker. You can embellish the white letters with a black pen touch. Hang the record by putting a nail through the center hole. You could add surface type to many objects. 
a skateboard deck, vintage postcards, an old suitcase. It's a great way to give a second life to old things. What would you like to letter on? For more information about Sakura's pen touch markers and sumo grip pencils, visit my sponsor, sakuraofamerica.com. View my entire hand lettering gallery at my website, madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.